Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I built my automated living plant wall. The plant wall is 6.5 uh, feet high and 3.2 feet wide. I've built everything myself and I'm going to lead you through every step on how you can build an automatic living plant wall. The living plant wall is watered automatically. It's on a cycle and it is watered by a water pump that is in the pond beneath. So every couple of hours, the water is pumped up, will go through tubing, and then it will start to rain down in the plant wall itself. And this way, it's going to wet the roots, and also the plant wall is getting nutrients from the pond beneath, because there's some living animals. I have a couple of fish, black mollies, and also neon tetras that um, poop in the water. And actually, this water is then pumped up and will get to the roots. And this is how these plants are fertilized. Another great thing of this living plant wall is also that it's cleaning the water itself because uh, there's felt in the back and the felt is cleaning the water. In addition, the roots of course are taking out the, um, the pollutants in the water. All the nitrates are um, soaked up by the, by the roots and the water itself is cleaned that way as well. So the fish are really happy because they have clean uh, water and the plants are very happy as well because they are fertilized multiple times a day. In addition, also the plants are watered multiple times a day um, through these water cycles, through the water pump that is pumping up the water. At the top, I installed a couple of LED lights. Currently it's summertime, it's really warm. I don't need these um, LED lights uh, for the plants, but in winter I supplement uh, with LED lights as well. In addition, I have a water heater uh, just in case the water gets too cold for the fish because these are tropical fish. I want to make sure that the water has the right uh, temperature. I'm also using an additional uh, pump in the back. It's a pump for, for a pond just in case because I want to make sure that the water stays crystal clear for my fish. But actually it's not needed because this is like a huge filter in itself. What I have on the plant wall is a variety of plants. I really love Monstera plants as well as Philodendron and Anturium. Most of these plants are aeroids. Aeroids are plants that are growing on other plants and they're just perfect because they don't really need a potting medium. There is no soil in, in there. There's also no sphagnum moss in there. The only thing these plants have uh, are two layers of felt and they are rooting within these layers of felt and it's uh, completely sufficient. Because you're not using any soil, uh, the risk of root rot is actually uh, limited. All the plants are bare root uh, in that system and this way the roots can get really wet without you having any risk of root rot. Also, it's quite aerated so there's air that can go uh, and get to the roots and therefore they are not suffocating and it works really, really great. The growth on this plant wall is absolutely amazing. You see plants reaching maturity uh, much faster. You get bigger and bigger leaves because actually the plants can grow upwards and this is uh, how leaves are getting bigger and um, some of these uh, climbers, some of these aroids mature. There are two big anturium plants on this wall. It's the king and queen anturium. So there's an anturium uh, vicii at the top here and an anturium varroquianum is uh, just right here. And as you can see, the foliage really gets uh, huge and also the vicii is working on it. Um, the foliage is already much bigger than uh, when I had them in uh, pots. And both of these plants are currently actually blooming. Uh, you see the uh, vicii just had a bloom here. It's already crispy, but there is another bloom coming up. Also here uh, we have, uh, as said, the Anturium varroquianum. The Anturium varroquianum actually is uh, blooming at the moment. Uh, it is past the female phase. It didn't have any uh, water drops. Actually, it ha has to get even taller and more mature for that. It's currently in the male phase uh, where you see pollen uh, building up here around the bloom. So I'm, I'm really excited and stoked about this. Another plant I have on this plant wall and it's quite a signature plant is the Philodendron biletai. Uh, it's a great looking plant. I bought it as a variegated Philodendron biletai. Unfortunately here you see this is the last uh, leaf that is variegated and the other growth of this uh, plant just didn't turn up uh, to be variegated. But another great thing about the plant wall is um, that you can just snip plants 
and um, I hope this way the plant will show variegation again. So I just snipped it here and, and there. So it's like three cuttings and the top cutting is growing new leaves. You see the newest leaf here. And the other two uh, are now just starting to grow again and I hope um, they will turn up uh, being variegated. Let's talk about a couple of other plants also on the plant wall. A classic, the Monstera adansoniae or the Swiss cheese plant. Um, I actually have a couple um, of these plants on this wall here. So I have the uh, big form right here. I have the Borsigiana, the Borsigiana, the, the small form on here. I'm pretty sure I will regret it at some point in time because uh, as you know, these leaves are getting huge. It might cover the whole plant wall, but for me, uh, without the Monstera deliciosa, there is no plant wall. All right, um, what else do we have? Um, we have a couple of potos plants. In terms of care, potos plants are really, really easy and um, they cover the plant wall quite well. That's why I have them on it. There's just a golden uh, regular potos. Um, there's some other uh, form of potos right here. And um, they're doing really, really well. I'm really fine on the wall. There's also a Philodendron scandens right here, just a green form uh, that is growing. There's a Philodendron uh, melanochrysum. I always have trouble with this plant, uh, but it seems to grow fine. There's another one uh, down here. There's a Philodendron tenue that is growing upwards here as well. There's the Anturium clarinervium. Um, it's a very easy to care for Anturium. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. It has uh, several leaves here on the plant wall at the moment. And it also currently is in bloom. It's actually in the uh, female phase right now. So it's hard to see um, for you right now, but I'm gonna show you a close up. Uh, it has water drops. That means that you can pollinate it. There's also a Philodendron scandens Brazil. It's here on the, on the edge. And as you can see, it gets bigger and bigger foliage. It's really looking cool. Um, these plants can get quite uh, big leaves if you allow them to climb. And a plant wall is uh, actually perfect for that. So um, there's also a couple of ferns, um, such as this Boston fern. Um, they are impossible to grow uh, in pots indoors. So it's great to have them on the wall. On the wall, there are no problems with that plant. Um, there's a Monstera celtepecana here. It's also um, right down there. It's growing well. There's a croton plant uh, hidden uh, right here. If you like this channel or just this video or both, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, also like this video. It's really going to help us with the Google algorithm. Uh, you are going to get more and more of these videos and it will motivate us to uh, record a lot more and share our, all our knowledge and our plants uh, with you. Thank you so much for your support. And please uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Thumbs up. Another plant on the plant wall is the uh, Ficus pumilia. Uh, it's the variegated form. It's a really um, small and tender plant. It's really, really great to fill in uh, the background. It's growing like crazy. I have it everywhere on the wall and within a couple of months, I'm pretty sure there uh, won't be any felt uh, seen anymore. So uh, this is a perfect plant for the uh, very background uh, because it doesn't get really three dimensional. There's also a Philodendron brandiantum uh, right here. It's doing okay. It's growing really, really slowly. Uh, there's a couple of Monstera adansonii cuttings. I also have some variegated Monstera adansonii um, just right here. There's also a Philodendron micans uh, right there. And there's some variegated adansonii here. I also use uh, a couple of uh, peace lilies uh, just right down here. They are in a... Um, in a pot, in a plastic pot, uh, right in the pond, because these plants are great in absorbing water and they really help to clean the pond uh, even more than the, just the plant wall itself. As you can see, uh, as I mentioned, there's LEDs uh, at the top here. I'm also using a couple of LEDs here along the sides. So the pond is uh, really nicely illuminated. I see the fish and also the plants in the pond um, have uh, enough light to grow. If you like the living plant wall and would like to know how you can build one yourself, we've also uh, built a complete course and one of the topics in there is a complete how-to guide uh, how you can build your own living plant wall. As I said, it's fully automated, the light is automated, the watering is automated, there's not much uh, you have to do. 
Everything, uh, how I built it, step by step, all the measurements, the materials you use uh, is in that course. It's illustrated with pictures and even more in-depth videos that show you exactly how you can build an automated living plant wall yourself. I put the link for this course in, uh, in the description so you can just uh, have a look and check it out. So there's many sections in this uh, course. One, as I just told you, is a how-to guide to uh, build your own living plant wall with all the materials that I have used. But there's also other sections in the course like general plant care knowledge, uh, general plant uh, knowledge, how to set up a complete hydroponic system, how to get nutrients, pH level uh, right and much much more. Have a look and follow the link in the uh, description section.